Welcome to Baby Science, the investigative show that brings hard science to soft subjects. The show that provides the statistics and data to make raising babies a viable clinical study. In last week's show, we examined why babies drink water through their right hand and determined that this increases the carbs and natural proteins that they imbibe while drinking via the statistically normal method. Baby Science is proud to have proven that babies do indeed drink water through their hands. In this week's investigative report, Baby Science will examine the fatigue factor associated with the universal phenomenon of the lost baby sock. For centuries during walks, babies have been losing socks. And in this report, we will closely examine a typical walk of mother and baby to determine physical factors surrounding sock loss. Here is our typical mother leaving on a routine walk with baby. Exercise for humans generally has an invigorating effect. However, with mothers and babies, a yet unexplained phenomenon causes mothers to experience a dramatic lowering of energy in three precise stages. In stage one, mother and baby begin with high energy and high ambitions to walk great distances. Stage two is a phase of quickly lowering energy. Stage three, energy lowers considerably and mother becomes clinically less than lively. Last, the scientifically puzzling stage four, mother and baby's energy lowers to an appreciable minimum. Baby researchers at Baby Science have successfully determined that this loss of energy comes solely from the phenomenon of the lost baby sock. Let's examine in detail how this sock phenomenon affects mother behavior. Mother begins her walk at a velocity of 3.2 miles per hour without acceleration. However, within 15 meters of departure, the first sock event occurs. Mother is required to return 9 meters and bend and lift 17.5 pounds. At which point, the second lost sock event occurs. Mother is required to bend and lift 17.5 pounds again. Still undismayed and in stage one of high ambitions, mother re-engages in her baby walk and is met with a third lost sock event, 17.5 pounds up and down again. Another double lost sock event totaling a 35 pound deadlift. Mother is now entering stage two, lowered energy. A fourth lost sock event, followed closely by a lost hat event, followed by a double lost sock event. and a final lost sock event, totaling a lift of 85 pounds at sea level. Mother is now entering stage three, less than lively. Sock events begin to occur with increasing rapidity.
After 21.5 minutes, our calculations specify that mother has lifted 622 pounds. Lost sock and hat events continue to occur at a rate of 52 events per hour. Let's take a precise look at the three stages of a sock event. Stage 1, subtle slippage. Stage 2, false footing. Stage 3, undetectable drop. Mother enters stage 4, fatal acceptance. Mother has now lifted 1.25 tons of baby. Notice here how the baby and mother seem to be playing happily with the hat. Notice also the baby's left foot is bare. Fortunately, an inline skater found the sock 26 meters behind and delivered it to the unsuspecting mother. Sock and hat events continue at a cruel pace even for science. The exhausted mother has now lifted and carried a tonnage equal to that of a small Volkswagen. Finally at home, mother has expended energy equivalent to 2.5 megawatts or a 500 pound bomb. Here ends our investigation of the lost sock phenomenon. Our conclusion is that the socks are not lost, they are left behind. Don't forget to tune into Baby Science next week as we explore why babies shake their heads. Baby Science is brought to you by the Baby Academy of Physical Science dedicated to exact calculations of baby life.